Okay, now when it comes to social media, right, guys, especially when it comes to women, they want to see that the people they see in social media platforms, like Instagram, for instance, look the same in real life, right? Yes, so that's important. That's important. What do people say when they see you in real life? I look the same. Just like you recognized me when you first saw me outside. <laughs> Well, I don't want to put my personal <laughs> opinion in, but, well, actually, you looked a little taller in person. Oh, yeah. I wear heels. I always wear heels, like, to make, to extend my legs, because I am short. Well, I'm 5'5". Five five. I'm average height, I guess you would say, but people say I'm short. So people say you look exactly how you do on they Instagram. They always ask me about my height. That was, uh, yeah, they always ask me about my height. Um, I get... A lot of comments about, am I tall? They're not sure if I'm tall or am I short. That's very common. Now, what about, I mean, obviously you have big <laughs> boobs, right? <laughs> yes. Do people say your boobs look the same like they do yes. in the pictures? Yes, they say that. That's the, um, the first question. Now, when it comes to social media, how did you get popular on social media? Well, I, you know, honestly, what guys... Guys going to follow girls who, I mean, I'm in the urban modeling, so I'm half naked. Of course, they're going to follow. Now, what type of Instagram posts get the biggest response for you? Actually, my pictures with no makeup and just laying in my bed. They don't like when you have all the makeup on. They don't, you know, they like simple stuff. Now, when it comes to Instagram, do you have a strategy with it? Um, I used to. I'm a slacker right now. I've been working on other stuff. But um, I will post, like, when I, I was like, okay, what made me want to get my following up, I remember one time it was this a guy. I want this one. I want the model. And I said, I want to get in this. And he was like, well, so-and-so have a following. And as soon as he said that, like, if someone tell me, oh, you probably can't get in that because you don't have a following, if you tell me I can't get it, I'm going to do it. I'm going to make sure. So right then, that's when I was like, I need to get a following. So I started being active on social media. I started posting like three times a day. And that's, you know, because people, when they wake up, they look at their phone when they go going to sleep. They look at their phone when they get off work. They get up, they look at their phone. So I was like, okay, if I post this. If someone can see it or see something, they'll go back to your page. Because sometimes when people post stuff, you're like, hmm, I wonder if they post something else. And you'll go back on their page. So I was just active with it. Now, when it comes to Instagram, right? Yes. How crazy are your DMs, your direct messages? What do you get in there? I got a crazy one. It was so nasty. This had to be the nastiest one. I get crazy messages, but this was just disgusting. Um, a guy had a um, a iPad, and um, he had my picture, one of my pictures on there, and then he took a picture of himself where he ejaculated on the iPad on my picture. And that's supposed to be something that's Turned flatter. on, I guess. <laughs> I guess or that's maybe flattering to you. Yeah, or it's crazy. What else do you get in there? What do you see? Of course, stuff about my boobs. And, you know, I'm tired of the penis pictures. It's not very attractive. I block. And I get, you know, of course, guys want to talk to you and... I'm kind of afraid because I'm afraid. This is two things I'm afraid of. I never want someone to put me on blast. So if um, if I might be interested, even if I see the message, I'm kind of afraid to respond in a certain way. So, um, you know, because I don't want to be like, oh, you know. Screenshot it yeah, and stuff. I don't do that. And, you know, because some guys, they don't care if they get screenshot. They're like, okay, I got screenshot in, so... Now, when it comes to your direct message, I mean, do you check your messages? Um, sometimes. Sometimes I just decline them all, but... Now, why do you think guys send penis pictures? Because every person I interview, <laughs> they all say the same thing, right? They say they don't want to see it, they don't like it. So then if that's the case, especially with the women that I've interviewed that are similar to your following and so on and so forth, why do you think guys continue to do that? 
I don't know, but you know what's crazy? It's a lot of people um, that be overseas, like, I don't know. So they're, you know, they don't, they may not know how, you know, Americans operate. So I'm not sure. I'm just saying. But then it's crazy when you get it from people you actually know and you see out on the streets and like, dude, like, you that lame to send that to me. Now, when it comes to uh, people trying to holler at you through direct messages, what is the percentage of men versus women? Out of 100%, um, what would you say? Mainly men, but I have a lot of women that try to talk to me, and they're bold. I don't know, a lot of people, I guess, because they never see me with a man, they always ask if I'm gay or if I got a woman, so, but I just keep my love life a little bit private. So, yeah, they're, the women are bold. They're very bold. They'll send a picture in a minute. Now, when it comes to people that try to holler at you that are, a little bit famous, for instance. Maybe not the regular Joe, right? And again, you don't gotta say names or anything, but what do you what do you usually see in there? What do you get the most of? You know, you got athletes, you got musicians, you got Athlete. other type of celebrities. Athletes are yeah. Football, basketball? Basketball, baseball, uh, basketball players. soccer. I mean football players, soccer, yeah. But common basketball. You get a lot of common. basketball. Yes. Now, has there been anybody that's, and you don't have to say names, but has there been anybody that's hollered at you that's been famous that maybe you were a fan of their work or fond of them before they even hit you up? Yeah. One time it was um, a rapper, and I was a child when this person was a rapper, and I had the biggest crush and so when he hit me, I was like, this can't be true. So I'm not going to lie. I gave him my number. So when he called me, it was like, it's crazy because it was like my childhood crush. So, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Now, how do you deal with disrespect and social media? Like negative, hateful comments? How do you how do you deal with that? Um, I usually just delete it and block it. But it's very hard to keep, you know to look at all those messages or all of those comments. Usually I have my sister, she's on 24 hour patrol looking at my comments and she'll say something or she'll tell me, um, go delete that um, picture or go delete that comment. Ever clap back? Yeah, you know, sometimes the girl have one of those days, she just, you know. Yeah, I guess it depends on you know, what mood I'm in, but I I usually don't because why? They want more followers? What is it? Now, what about Snapchat? Are you on Snapchat? Yes. And is your Snapchat screen name the same as your Instagram? I get a lot of screenshots. I have, I get a lot of screenshots. I, I can just take a picture of something simple and they screenshot. They screenshot anything, but I have it where you cannot message me if you're not, um, if I'm not following you. Sometimes I may open it up for a question and answering, but other than that, I don't, you know, I don't want no one messaging me who I don't follow. Is your screen name the same on Instagram as it is? Yes, it's, Snapchat? yeah, I have a very active Snapchat. Now, what do you think about this, right? Okay, so Instagram has a new feature called Instagram Stories, yes. which is a feature that's similar to what Snapchat is known for. Have you tried Instagram Stories? Yes, I, I was kind of active yesterday on it. Um, I don't like it. <laughs> I like Snapchat, but you know now people can reply to your pictures, like your videos, and it's crazy. People more so reply to the videos because it goes to your inbox and they don't have to comment on your picture because sometimes people get, they're like, I don't wanna look thirsty, so they're gonna comment on your video. How active are you with your Snapchat? Um, I'm pretty active. I do. That's. I think my Snapchat. You'll get more of who I am because I do like. If I have a daily activity, I say, okay, this is what I'm gonna do today, and I'm actually talking to the people because I don't talk on my Instagram. So um, if you're following me, you get more so of who I am on Snapchat. Now, when it comes to social media, what's your biggest pet peeve with it in general? Hmm. If anything. I I don't like it when it's like I just don't like I don't 
the comments. You have to have tough skin being a, you know, popular because some of the comments, you know, you're like, wait a minute, what? You know, you have to know really who you are because some comments, you like, you know, you have to have tough skin, if, you know. Now, what about backup pages? Do you have a backup page? I know people that yeah, have your type of following. Yeah, I was, I was advertising it, and then I stopped. I advertised it for a few weeks. I I haven't been on there. I haven't even accepted a um, request. I just, I need one because they hack your pages a lot. Have you been hacked? No. I, one of my pages got deleted, but it wasn't hacked. Instagram deleted it. <laughs> it was disabled and then deleted, or? It, they, I guess, um, they warned me about some of my pictures, but it's crazy. It wasn't, like, of me. It was, like, just different you know, funny jokes I'll put on there and it get flagged and somebody flagged me a bunch of times and Instagram didn't let me get my page back and I had to change my whole name. And how many followers did you have back um, then? That's like when it first started. So I probably only had like 5,000. I didn't have many. Haven't been hacked or disabled or deleted no. since then? Well, deleted but or disabled, I, I almost say. did. What happens is someone will email you. That's why you never have your... um your email you use for Instagram in your bio because someone will see that and that's how they, they're they able to hack you. So they emailed me from the email they thought was, you know, my Instagram one and they they try to, you know, put it like it's Instagram, but it's not. You have to look at really who's it's from when you go back and see the detail. And they ask like your password or, you know, your driver's license number. It's just, you have to be crazy you know to give that information to them but a lot of people think like oh like i'm gonna lose my page if i don't give them my driver's license number but that really be the hackers they get everything and you're not going to get your page back so that was someone fishing yeah a lot of people do that that's why i know it's not instagram if they email me off of that email what about fake pages have you seen that of oh yourself? It's, it's a ton of them it's a ton of fake pages instagram and facebook and yeah have you seen yourself on Backpage or Craigslist? Oh, or? yeah. They they use my pictures. They use it on escort sites. I have my dad ask, um, my dad's friend was like, yeah, I seen your um, daughter. She was in, on some um, escort site in Kansas. I'm like, what is your old friend doing on an escort site, <laughs> first of all? And he was like, you know, they always, of course, when you popular, your page, your picture going to get put on everywhere. What about stalkers? Ever experienced a stalker yet with uh, your social media following? I've been um, seeing that in the news with like Chris Brown and Ashanti and Usher. I haven't stuff. had a crazy stalker. I mean, I have, I wouldn't, I call a stalker like, okay, Chris Brown, that was a stalker, his situation. Someone show up to my house where I live and yeah, you have to be careful. That's why I said, um, I think all models or whatever, they should have a P.O. box you know, do not give your address because some people might say they want to send you something when they really want to know where you live. So you got to be careful with that. 